So I'm trying something new for the vlog. I was given the suggestion instead of just putting music over, you know, music that we can't play in the vlog because of copyright issues to voice over what is actually happening. So this is at the homecoming of my son's new school. We went and this was such a fun time. I recorded this dance routine because a young lady that's in here, I've known her since she was three years old and just getting to see her perform, just I'm telling you, even thinking about it now made me want to cry. But the reason why I really wanted to have Marcus attend a homecoming is because this is his first year at the school and I want him to feel a strong connection to his school. If you hear my husband talk about his school back home, Bryan Station, he had a lot of love for his school and the people that he went to school with. And I'm hoping my son has the same type of experience. And a part of that is attending things like homecoming, attending football games, attending basketball games. So he had never attended a homecoming, but he had so much fun. Um, because this is a school that goes all the way from TK to 12th grade. There were families with all different age kids. But this night was also super duper special because the one little chocolate girl that's in here in this dance group, she also was um, crowned for homecoming court. She's only a junior, so she can't be officially homecoming queen, but she was on homecoming court. And as you can probably tell, based off of the demographics of the dance team, this school does not have a ton of black kids, at least not in all the grades. So anytime one of the kids of color, especially the black kids, anytime they're being recognized, the black families show up and show out. And we did. We were there in numbers because we want our presence known. We want our kids to feel supported. And uh, we'll make sure we do that. So what's great about this school is that quite a few kids that my son grew up with because of the mom's group that I was in, they all go to this school now. And uh, so it was a great first homecoming. We had a blast. Dance Company. And please welcome our 2022 Junior Royalty, Maya <laughs> Presented by her parents, Ron <laughs> and Fred Anthony. Let me take a picture of you guys. Oh no, I'm over the recording the video. It's all good, but thank you. So we Not that um, I really know how to use a camera very well. Listen, either. I've had people <laughs> I've had people accidentally take a picture of themselves trying to help me take a photo. So no, I, I <laughs> we got it down. Um so we are at a place called Big Joe's that me and my husband used to frequent. Did how often did you go here when you worked? Yeah, I came here twice, two, three times a week. I used to work up the street. I came here two or three times a week for about four years. <laughs> so I only came here they when I was my face. only came here when I was pregnant. And so I was introduced when I was pregnant with this little one right here. This little short one. And I even have one with Amara too. And the twins. So uh, they are closing down yeah, in a there week. There was a news article. This place has been here for I don't know how long, how many, maybe 50 years or something in Santa Monica. There's a news article that it's closing. And I came, saw it on my phone. I was like, Angel, hey, look. Yeah. It was like, we got to come down here. So it's Saturday. It's a little bit afternoon. And we're getting these turkey burgers and these french fries. Because they better live up to it. And they French onion sun chips. And, uh, um, Pel San Pellegrino, blood orange. Break down everything as you pull it out. Let the people know what we got. All right, we got uh, double. Hold on. We got a uh, double turkey burger. I don't remember. Is that the double? Got, uh, this chicken. is the regular one. Okay. We got a ginger beer. This is mine. This is a double turkey burger. This is a fish for angel, fish burger. This is cheese and grilled onions. Cheese and grilled onions. We got ginger beer. This is me. Grilled chicken. Double grilled chicken. Double don't... Grilled. Was it a double? Yes, double babe. Grilled chicken. We got grilled onions. Got the works on everything. Uh, we got, uh, what is this? What is this? Turkey burger? Yeah, yeah. I, I went ahead and gave him my bag. It's all the okay. same. We got the uh, mushroom. 
steak is basically a steak hoagie without the steak. It's a uh, Big Joe's mushroom hoagie. Oh, yeah. ginger beer, they fries. I got it. Got about they fries. No, that's why I got. Make sure I got two orders. Are you ready to give it a whirl? All right, let's dig it. Right here, I'll catch you. You ain't gonna need no ketchup. I don't mind what I'm doing. Never open the pack and the ketchup. Oh, what? Let's see what you think of your turkey. Wrapped in aluminum foil. This is high quality. Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to leave that in there. No, you do have, you won't take it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Probably did here for sixty five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so good, so good. Yours? Is that your double turkey or your double chicken? I ain't got you the good stuff here. That's the double turkey. I mean chicken. How is it? Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> the second portion of the day. No, we're at this girl's house. She here, hers. Yeah, she was in here having a wild party. Albums. Quick saying, there's that. What? Quick saying. I mean, yeah. the uh, hourglass. <laughs> she said, "There's death." They just eerie to me. They always say that, but I've always liked. Them. Really? Yeah. What you think of your cousin's place? It's good. It's good. You seen it before? Uh, could you imagine living on your own? So what's going on with this show? Kind of. No, you can't. Never. You live with me forever and always. That's the what he wants anyway. So I don't even know why he's playing. Because he wants somebody to remind him when he got stuff to do. And he wants his brothers to always be knocking on his door. That's his favorite thing. It's his favorite. Favorite activity. Because that was in there. Biggs, were you starting to like your place more? In a way. She's got wonderful neighbors. It's animal friendly. No, I don't like my neighbors, but I like it. I like being by myself. And that's what she gets out here. Cause we don't be driving out here, but we did the day for Arby's. <laughs> okay, so we are at Lil Marcus's cross country meet. I'll try to remember to put in the footage of his takeoff that I shot vertically for Instagram. Hopefully daddy and Amar will come. I got the twins. It's actually a really beautiful day. It's warm. I'm, I'm actually really, really glad that we were able to make this happen. Um, Cause it's always good to get the family out there. Uh, and this is our first time seeing him run. This is, this is third meet. He missed his four, he missed, they've had four meets. He missed the last one cause he was sick. So I know he's glad to be back in it. His goal is to have under 14 minutes for his two mile. So hoping he'll make it. Let's see. Okay, so Marcus finished his race, as you saw in the. Yeah, come here, little Marcus. No, you go where Daddy is. Go where Daddy is. As we saw, how you feel? <laughs> how you feel, little Marcus? Tired. Tired. I'm so proud of you for finishing, Marcus. <laughs> was uh sorry there are bugs out here marcus was like i said sick his last race so he's been out of commission this is his first race back and uh the fact that he finished is enough for me and i hope it's enough for him you didn't quit and this was a tough a uh, tough course honey i can't can't even imagine having to do it all right so we're about to hit home amar how you feeling? You feel good? All right, that's the Mars two cents. Um, Daddy made it as well. I think y'all saw him for the two seconds that I showed him. Day. couldn't have been more perfect don't you agree yeah, it could be a little cool but i agree i'm sick and tired of california heat like i'm done with it okay let's not vent let's not vent. no i'm just saying the reason i'm saying it could be a little cool um so we i don't know if i already mentioned it i think i mentioned it in an instagram story but not on here we are headed into 
the LA Magazine food and wine event, I did not realize <laughs> that when I received an invitation to this, it was actually for someone's birthday. Well, I, when I saw the link, was like, oh, this is something I want to do with my husband. Yeah, um, that's not, I didn't even recognize the birthday thing until somebody sent a text and was like, so we'll be meeting up with such and such for her birthday. And I said, oh, I'm sorry. When I bought my tickets, I didn't even see that. So anyways, I it's lying. a date. No. I think she did. Nope, not lying. Withholding information from me just no. so I come. My brain withheld the information from me. You would have came anyway. Leaving would have been here trying to. Yep. I'm like, why they let us up in here? Yeah. We can work. We uh, signed in. We got our little wristbags and then wristbands. Hi. And then we got our little glasses for our wine tasting. This is so fun. <laughs> yes, I was thinking the same thing. This rosé, it's chill. How's the fried ice cream? The cookie dough is good. The cookie dough is good? Oh, it's not ice cream? I said it's cookie dough. I, I didn't hear you, apparently. Is it fried or just cookie dough rolled up? Cookie dough. Marcus is sitting down right now. I just got something called Fit Chow Miracle Noodle. It's okay. I mean, it's got taste to it. It's good. Um, problem is, I am stuffed. I don't have room for much food, so I'm just kind of tasting things and then unfortunately wasting them and throwing them away because they're not worth me forcing myself to eat them. The, the chunky girl in me would typically push it. I'm not. I'm not going to push it. But yeah, that's it. Um, but I did get a guest bag. And they wanted a whole free post on Instagram. I posted on one. Is this going to cause an argument? I said, ma'am, sir, sir, ma'am. Not for a bag and some sunglasses. Get out of here. So basically, the Los Angeles Magazine Food & Wine event is an opportunity for you to be able to try out different dishes from different restaurants and vendors throughout LA. As well as because it's California, we have a lot of wineries, so you get to try alcohol and wine from different companies that are locally based. The food was just okay. It wasn't something that I was like astounded by, but the vibes were great. It was a great date day idea. And also there was a DJ who was catering to the black folk. The music was amazing. So I'll probably go back next year. Bad chick angel.